Good afternoon, you guys. Happy Friday. Um, I've just been napping all day because I barely slept because of my overnight and then Connor's alarm went off this morning. He forgot to shut it off and it woke me up like four hours into my sleep. So couldn't fall back asleep. Um, I went to Trader Joe's, but they were super busy. They literally had a line outside. So I was like, not gonna cut it. So quick little target trip and then I've gone home. We got Red Robin for lunch. You guys, their Impossible Burgers are so, so good. And yeah, now I'm going to go to the gym, mostly because I'm really tired and I'm hoping that drinking some pre-workout and just get a little bit of exercise in. I'm not gonna put any expectations out there. I'm not gonna do anything in particular. I'm not following my plan today. I'm just gonna do whatever I wanna do, kind of like a full body fun workout just because i feel like i need to move a little bit and maybe feel like a normal human being just working overnights always just wrecks me and i feel like this gives me like a little bit of normalcy it is already like quite late though like 7 p.m or something but i need to i feel like i need to move and have accomplished at least one thing today just one but connor and i did really exciting that i wanted to share with you guys look at what we bought this week I'm going to give you like two seconds to guess. It's one of our first big purchases together. And I'm super psyched about it. So we decided to go to Best Buy because we've been like improving our desk or like my old desk. That's now our desk. I just have like a computer on there and Connor's added like a second screen, which has been really nice. So we decided to go to Best Buy just to see what else we could, you know, maybe do to the desk. Just kind of kill some time. Um... And while we were there, Connor saw this bike. I think it's like a Nordic track and it was like $2,000 or something. And I was like, you know what we should do? We should, my arm's getting tired. I was like, we should go to Dick's Sporting Goods and see what they have because they probably have a lot of better variety than Best Buy does. And I kind of just said it because I've been thinking about getting a bike, but it hasn't really been that important to me because I can go to the gym when I want to work out. But sometimes I want to just do like 10 or 15 minute rides or like do like a second ride at night. But I don't want to go to the gym for that or like if it's too late or something. So like I've kind of had it on my mind, but it hasn't been a priority. Anyway, we went to look at it and I didn't really have an intention of buying it, but there was one and we both liked it. And then it turned out it was on sale. So we decided if we don't do it now, we're going to regret it. So here we go, you guys. Ignore the mess because there is a giant box for the bike because I haven't gotten to try it out yet So I didn't want to throw the box away yet, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like So here it is in my little corner of the living room uh, I had these mats already, but I'm super excited and I'm going to go and take it for the first spin So I'm going to take it for my first spin. So I made myself some pretty um it's nice because it has like this little cup holder and then it also has this little tablet holder because we were deciding if we want it once like with the screens or without the screens or they have so many different options and so many different things and we decided to get one with the ipad screen which or it fits a phone too just because he likes to do the apple fitness and i'm trying out the peloton app so with like your ipad in there it it's like perfect size screen so i'm gonna put on my shoes and hop on and try out i didn't go to the gym today because i was at work really early at 6 30. we have to, uh i was at work really early at 6 30. so i didn't get a workout in and i'm not gonna make it to the gym because i'm going out with some of my co-workers for dinner so um, this is the perfect day to try it out because I can do is do a quick spin ride class, whatever, at home, shower, and then be ready for dinner. Good evening. Um, so it's Monday night. I just got home from work and picking up my groceries. 
I actually got all of it at Target. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unpack my groceries, show you guys how simple my groceries haul, ugh, my grocery hauls are, and then I'm going to meal prep. And I also got a new baking dish, so I feel like a grown up today. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. It's a lot of the same stuff, but I like eating the same three meals a day. So for breakfast, I still have eggs and shredded cheese, but I've got some egg whites and spinach. And I also still have oats and chocolate chips, so I didn't need any more of those. So that's my breakfast. Then for lunch, I got a bunch of these like coleslaw mixes and I'm just gonna eat them with some dressing and make like a coleslaw. And then also my protein shakes with almond milk and a banana. I did order almond milk too, but they were all out. So I'm gonna need to get some somewhere else. Um, so that's for my lunch. And then, oh, for my breakfast, I also got ketchup because I'm almost out and I don't like to eat my eggs without ketchup. Then for dinner, I don't really know exactly what I'm making. I'm not really like a recipe follower. I just kind of try things. So I got a bunch of these cauliflowers. They're a little smaller than I wanted to. So I might have, I should have gotten one more. I One more in my cart, but then I decided to just get four. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop them up. Put them in this dish that I got that's kind of nice and big. It's a good size. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of this cheese on here. Probably like half the pack. Um... I'm going to put that in the oven. I don't know for how long. I'm just going to put it in there and see. And then I'm also going to make this impossible ground meat substitute type thing. I'm going to make both of them. And then that with the, the cheese and cauliflower will be my dinner. So that is my plan for today. And here is the end result. I do have some extra cauliflower left over, but I'm just going to put that in the fridge for a snack or if I'm hungry or whatever. And you guys, it tastes really good, especially like this ground beef, fake ground beef that I think tastes like real ground beef, but also it's been like seven years since I've had real ground beef, so don't take my word for it, but this is going to be so good. I've been like snacking on it as I'm like putting it into my containers because cauliflower is one of my favorite foods. I used to eat it all the time when I was a kid and it's so nice and I'm just excited to eat this for the rest of the week. And it was so simple to make, like literally just cut it up, throw it in the oven with some cheese and some spices and that was literally it. Like it literally cannot be any simpler. Tell me if a Target trip has ever gone like this for you. I went to Target to return something that I bought for Connor. It's a really nice jacket and they were on clearance. And because the fitting rooms are closed, I bought two different sizes so he could try them on at home. Um, and then returned the one that didn't fit. So I went to return it today. And I walked out having spent more money than I returned. And my idea was like, okay let's go get some hair ties because i'm like wearing these scrunchies right now but i wanted something smaller and i actually found these really nice ones i'm wearing one right now they're kind of like the plasticky ones but they're thinner because i like the plasticky ones but they usually they um they get too loose after a while and as you can see like my hair it's not perfect but i like when it's not too tight because if it's too tight it gives me a headache so this is perfect and they're like these cute little colors. It's like kind of like a rose goldish pink that's like tinted. We've got black, gray, white. And then the one in my hair is kind of like the rainbow wee color with the white. So that's really nice. So I got that. And I got this hoodie that I'm wearing. It's a cropped hoodie and I have the one in gray. And I've been eyeing this one in black, but they usually don't have my size, but they had it today. So I got it so comfy my cats love the strings um so i got that and then i got this mask and i'm really sad about it because i have some of their all in motion masks and i didn't realize that the ear things on this were like this because this guys is a size small mask <laughs> so that obviously is not gonna work for me um and then did I get anything else? 
Oh, I just got a makeup sponge. But yeah, doesn't ever happen anywhere else when you go to Target for like one thing or to return something and before you know it, you're like, my hands are full. Okay, so I'm doing a Peloton workout right now. It's a 30 minute ride, um, interval and arm. So I'm using these logo medals. They're only three pounds, you guys. And I think it's cause I, I did stop weight cause I worked arms yesterday. But every time I like extend my arm, I can just feel my tricep being on fire. So even though this is three pounds right now, this feels like the hardest arm workout I've done in a while. Like, literally three pounds are just killing me. But it is a really fun ride, and it's only 30 minutes. And it's, like, you do, like, eight-ish minutes of, like, cycling with, like, intervals. And then um, a couple minutes of just different arm moves. And parts of it is just holding the weights up. And I don't know if I'm going to share it. It depends on how I look. But, like, I, <laughs> I'm having such a hard time just holding these weights up in the air literally only three pounds if you haven't tried it yet go try it maybe don't go try it day after you work out your arms your biceps and triceps um but it, it definitely feels like i'm putting in a lot of work and like you guys i was like on a couch last few hours i'd eaten dinner and i made myself this really good yogurt with peanut butter powder like pb2 powder and mini chocolate chips and it was so good um but then i just kind of like kept falling asleep on a couch and i was like Let's just do a quick, like, 30-minute Peloton ride. Kind of, like, it, not, like, wake myself up before I go to bed, but kind of, like, burn some of my last energy before I go to bed so I can get in a good night's sleep for tomorrow's overnight. And I'm definitely, like, it just, it turned my mood around. Like, instead of feeling like a lazy day, like, I feel like even though this is the only thing I've done today besides getting my steps in and eating really well, it just, it just feels like it, it's like 10 o'clock at night, but it turned my day around. Hello, um, so I wanted to take you guys with me as I made a quick lunch slash dinner. I'm working it overnight tonight, so it's like 4 p.m. right now while I'm making this. And I just want to go in there being full. I know I'm going to have like snacks at work because I'm working until like 3 in the morning. But this is how I literally eat these for lunch all the time. This is literally just a bag of coleslaw mix. So, I'm just going to cut it open. And this doesn't fit in the regular bowl. So, I'm using a big piece of Tupperware. But I'm not going to save any of it. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Cut this whole thing in there. You can see it's a lot, you guys. I like volume eating. So, just filling up on veggies is great. Then... Um, I'm literally just going to go in my fridge and find my favorite salad dressing. Um, coleslaw dressing is an option, but I don't have any right now. Um, looks like the only dressing that I actually have is honey mustard, which is fine. I love honey mustard, even if it's with, like, this coleslaw. And then I'm just going to pour it on top. I didn't do a whole lot, but I'm probably going to add some more, just so there's, like, an even-ish Hope. and like when i'm doing this at work i just have a bowl and i just keep filling it up until the whole bag is gone but at home i have a big piece of tupperware that i can use so i'm trying to get all the stuff from the bottom it would probably be helpful if i like poured in half the bag covered it with a little bit of dressing and then poured in the rest but i like to make things difficult <laughs> But you guys, this is one of the easiest things to do for like lunch if, or dinner and you want to get a lot of veggies in but you don't have a lot of time or like I don't like to prep my lunches off usually because it's like whether it's sandwiches or salads, I just don't feel they keep well. So that's why I like doing one of these things. 
plus it's so easy to switch up which kind of salad bag you're buying so if you're a kind of person who wants to eat like different things every day then you can have a different salad like a different salad every day of the week but still like have it prepped and be ready so i need all of this um and i didn't really know what to do for my protein because I, huh. I'm all out of bananas. So right now I'm making some impossible ground beef, which guys, I'm having the hardest time with my camera. I'm making some impossible ground beef because I don't really know what else to make. Uh, I have protein powder, but I don't have bananas and I really just prefer bananas in them. It just makes the consistency so much better. And I feel fuller after I eat it with with a banana. So I'm making some of this impossible ground beef. I'm not gonna eat all of it, probably like about a third of it. And I was thinking of doing like some cheese, like adding some cheese to it. And then I don't know, maybe like on some bread, kind of like a quick cheeseburger-ish type thing, but not really. Plus the bread will also really help me fill up for my long or late work shift. It's not really longer than usual. It's just late. And I didn't get a chance to nap. Also, I'm not like a day napping kind of person. So, so I'll see you guys when this, I'll show you guys what it all looks like when it's done. All right. I decided to change my mind on making like a sandwich or a burger or something. What I did is I literally just mixed the ground beef into this like coleslaw salad. So good. I am a person who will mix weird foods together and just kind of go with it and sometimes it turns out not good and sometimes it turns out good and I don't care if it's weird. And then I also made apple slices with peanut butter instead of a sandwich and I'm super excited about this like I don't this ground beef in the salad I don't know why but it tastes really really good. Good morning and happy Monday you guys. Um, we're in my car right now but I wanted to do a quick little unboxing because um, I'm excited to get in the mail today and my boyfriend's still sleeping in my apartment so I didn't want to do it there plus I had to pick up uh, the package. Anyway, so here we are at the gym but fingers crossed I'm pretty sure this is my hydro jug coming in a couple of days early. I'm excited to see it here. Oh my god! Alright, a couple of things in here. Let's see. Shipping label. Um, let's start with the actual jug. So I got the blush color. Oh my god, you guys! It's not exactly the color that I thought it would be, but I do really, really love it. I think it's super cute, and it's, pro it's bigger. <laughs> it's bigger than my face. That's awesome, though. Oh my god. Okay, this is definitely bigger than I thought. <laughs> you guys, it's gonna be crazy, like taking this to work with me. All right. Um, next, we'll just go with the straw I don't know yet how much I'm going to love the straw but I figured I would just get it because I do usually have a straw when I drink out of water bottles plus something this big might be really difficult when it's really full um, so I decided I should probably get the straw and so All right, and then it has like on the back of the straw, it has these little directions on how how you put it in here. Tap, insert into the cap, because the way it works is that you can put the straw in here and keep it in here when you close the cap. Oh, if I can open the cap. 
like that is tight, which I guess is good because no leaking water. Okay. So this, I'm gonna rinse it out before I use it anyway. Okay, so yeah, because the bottom of it is like flexible, you can put it in and it reaches the bottom and it's totally good, sip, sip. And then you just, even with the cap, I think you can. How cool is that? All right, now, the sleeve. I really couldn't decide between the like the dark blue floral one and this one but because this was limited edition I decided to get this one because I figured I could get that floral one whenever I wanted but I couldn't get this one whenever I wanted I am worried about like getting the bottom dirty because I know I'm gonna be putting it on the gym floor and everywhere else you guys this is gorgeous look at that gold little just like little out of detail this is so, so pretty. It has like a little thing, which I was just gonna say, I wonder if my phone fits in there. Definitely looks like my phone can fit in there. And then it also has this. So I'm gonna put the jug in here, which again, it came with directions, but I think we can figure it out. I got it most of the way. Oh, here it is, you guys. How freaking pretty. <clears throat> Don't mind my voice. How gorgeous is that? And then we're going to attach. This is honestly what I'm most excited about because I'm always trying to fit my water bottle in my purse and it never works. Or like I can't close my purse and I'm just most excited about having this strap that I can just throw over my shoulder which now I'm gonna be walking into work with like a purse lunch bag water bottle throwing over my shoulder all of it I am so excited. I have wanted this for so long, you guys, and I have just been like telling myself I needed to wait, I needed to wait, I needed to wait, and here it is, and I'm, oh my god, I'm so excited. How freaking cute is it? Yes. Oh my god, I am 